All these elements are creating that volcano leather jacket belt and this kind of a nest. Well, I'm sorry, hair. Hello guys, so today we're gonna talk about how to wear mini skirt in 2022. We're gonna just see different examples and discuss different kinds of aesthetics that can be made with this particular piece of clothes because it's a very controversial piece of clothes because it's opening too much. I myself personally never ever had mini skirt. When I was a teenager, I had one short dress that I would wear, but I still was wearing it pretty rare and the skirt was just above the knee, but it wasn't that high. Now I'm wearing shorts actually. So mini skirts can be very different. It can be solid. It can have some cuts. It can be ruffled or pleated or the hem can be ruffled or pleated. It can be made with different fabric, thin or thick. It can be denim, leather, cotton, knitted, linen, synthetic, and so on. It can have different patterns. It can be checked. It ha can have some stripes. It can have flowers. It can have dots. It can be funny. It can have some watercolors. It, it can have geometric print, ethnic print, or animal print, and so on. It can also be narrow or it can be wide. It can be high-waisted or low-waisted. It can be trapeze shape, it can be bell shape, and it can be straight shape. For fuller bodies, for softer bodies, for fuller women, best if it's not super bodycon. There should be some air, preferably between skin and a skirt, and a bit high-waisted also, because it can create that elongation for the legs and for the body itself. And also, it won't make you look too squarish or stocky, as it could happen if you would wear something lower-waisted or mid-waisted. But again, in this case, you should look on your proportions. It just depends on your proportions. Style-wise, as far as it's a very open piece, there's a big risk to look cheap or vul vulgar. Also, we know different kinds of examples of what normally this small short associates with, or it cannot be associated with little girls. So those are two different aesthetics that it can actually, we can actually think about when we think about mini skirt and the style. So if you want to look chic and classy and not just want to attract attention, because I noticed sometimes some women just can't go without mini skirt and opened top here. And when I observe this, I feel like they can't, they need men's attention very much. It's like their food. They can't live without this kind of attention. If you search on YouTube, mini skirts try and hold, you will see what I mean. Many of these videos are not for women, they are for men, which is not the case with the coats, for example, or shorts or blouses. This is how women normally are dressed for men, and what kind of clothes they buy in order to get men's attention. When you are building your outfit, you kind of have to be aware about what effect you are creating. What is the quality of attention that you want on yourself, right? Because the quality of attention can be different. Attention itself can be different. Mini skirts started in the 60s. London-based designer, Mary Quant, she named the skirt after her favorite car, the Mini. She was inspired by London street fashion and uh, she decided to raise the hemline in 1964 to several inches above the knee, if you remember Twiggy, right? So that was that kind of a mini skirt at that time. So in the 70s, these women who were rocking this skirt, they got in their 30s. So the mini became a tiny bit longer. So we can see already in the 70s, mini skirt looks a little bit longer. Still on trend though. In the 80s, it was more so like leather mini skirts, punk rock, rock style for women and very bright and shiny for pop culture, for pop music. So normally they were wearing this with bomber, leather jacket, belt, and this kind of a nest. Well, I'm sorry, hair. In the 90s, mini skirt became more like a preppy girl style. So checked mini skirts became pretty popular. In 2000s, it was also popular. It was more like a low rise mini skirts that looked actually like a rectangular, like this, horizontal. And denim mini also, very popular, made with denim. In 2010, I still see many in uh, combination with very simple minimalistic coats and uh, very solid stockings, if it's more like a winter style. I don't see it's coming back too often, to be honest. When I look at people around me, most of the skirts that they're wearing are just slightly above the knee, but not as mini, 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 micro mini. And as far as today it's back, I can see some pros and cons of this. 
So prance would be it's feminine, it's sexy, and it's showing beautiful legs. And cons. Cons would be vulgar, it cuts the body, sometimes it really messes the proportions, and it can be pretty hard to style. So now I'm gonna present you my viewpoint, my vision of that whole subject of a mini skirt. This is my opinion after I've watched loads of loads of pictures, maybe thousand pictures of different mini skirt outfits and I'm gonna show you what I personally think that looks amazing and how to build an outfit that would look great and classy and amazing with a mini skirt or how not to do this like mini skirt don'ts again as I said it's my personal viewpoint is how I live when you're building an outfit with this kind of a mini skirt avoid everything else that would scream sexiness and nakedness close some parts of your body a bit more for example don't go for cropped top. Don't go for too big cleavage. Also, if your top has some lace or under underwear vibe in it, we also want to avoid that combining with a mini skirt. By itself, with a blazer or with men's suit, yes, but with a small skirt that can actually go to a different direction. Now, lacy stockings also is one of the pieces that sometimes women might wear with this kind of a skirt. Now, very high boots also because it opening basically the top parts of your legs in combination again with a shorter top and everything else like this. Also, in combination with bright makeup and in combination with big hanging earrings or hula hoops. So I just think all these elements are creating that volcano, so be careful with that. How to balance this? When you are putting on other pieces, think about anything but not sexy and naked. Something more clothes and maybe a little bit more on a male side or chunkier or more masculine and more relaxed or something like this. Even boho, even something ethnic would be nice because it's normally is not very slim, it's not showing your body too much, it's not shaping the body too much, it's just basically covering you. Can anyone rock mini? I think yes, it just depends on proportions. It depends mostly on outfit. The proportions. When we look at this skirt, we can see that it's small piece, it cuts the vertical line, especially if it's a contrasted color. So this is what happens. Everything that is too short, it looks good on small and bony women. If a woman is elongated, that can look slightly funny because that piece comes too small. And if a woman is wider and has wider figure, then it can be actually small horizontal piece on her hips. So there are several aesthetics that you can create using mini skirt. It just will be different outfits. So number one is smart casual aesthetic. So how you can balance the mini skirt in this case? You're wearing something masculine on top, like a blazer, for example, or a short on top. On the bottom, you're wearing whether boots or men's shoes or something with flat surface or something with chunky platform. Sometimes you can wear high heels, but again, it has to be actually balanced with something masculine on top. Aesthetic number two, classic French aesthetic. So you can balance it with something classic, some monochromatic colors, ballet flats, turtleneck, or clothes top or blazer, classic jewelry, something minimal, minimal chic look. So the best inspiration for this kind of aesthetic, you should Google French fashion mini skirt. Oh, and also sweater goes in their category. It's gonna look beautiful. Jacqueline Kennedy, she was also wearing mini skirt, but look how she balanced it with everything else classic. So that would not look too revealing. Number three is preppy style. And I personally never see women like this outside on the streets. Maybe sometimes on the photos, but not so much around myself. In this case, mini skirt is normally pleated or checked pattern. It's normally button up shirt, it's normally Chelsea boots, shoes, it's normally tie, long socks. It's looking a little bit like 60s. I still think this character is a little bit narrowed down. Number four is similar, it's a doll style. It has some frills, it's normally pink color or very gentle pastel color. It can be more shiny. It's more like Japanese style, also for younger girls, I think. I think Ariana Grande, she has this style pretty often. In this case, this is a wider trapeze skirt. Sometimes it has some pleats or ruffles. Of course, it can look slightly clownish when it's exaggerated. And of course, it depends on who is wearing that kind of thing. Many bright colors, bright stockings, bright makeup. It can look slightly cartoonish, but there are still some people, some teenagers who go for that particular aesthetic. Number five, rock style girl. So it's normally paired with biker jacket or skirt itself. It can be leather, it can be band t-shirt or just a t-shirt. It can be some jewelry, silver or just more like metal, metal jewelry. 
metal music, hard metal. It can be sneakers and boots, it can be chunky boots, and it can be pretty undone hair. Number six, boho mini. So normally it's ethnic patterns, it's soft fabric, it's frills, it can be with long colorful cardigan and summer look. It's very summer look, very beach look. And I think that's basically for any woman. I think if a woman doesn't want to actually wear mini, what she can do is wear elongated shorts with this kind of an outfit. And I think that will be great. Number seven is sports chic mini. It looks a little bit like tennis girl. It normally is pleated. It normally light colors, especially white with t-shirt, with sneakers, it looks very casual, no makeup, hot weather, she's on a boat. So those are all the aesthetics that I thought of, seven. So summary, if you're in doubt, just pick up something longer. Pick up something that just closes your knees. It still will be kind of like a short skirt and it can actually have cuts. It can have cuts on the sides, cuts at the front, cut on the back. It still will be more open, more revealing, but still it will close some parts of your body it can still look very cute but maybe a little bit more classy also if in doubt choose more classic colors beige dark blue navy blue those are colors that fit to everyone pick up something narrower also don't choose something very wide just pick up something narrower and maybe slightly elongated also maybe slightly higher waisted because from the distance of that piece itself it will look more vertical rather than horizontal and so that will give you that more elongated and more slim look anyway all right that's it you can check actually this video clothes trends 2022 where i'm explaining different kinds of trends and are any of those trends for you for your particular body thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon bye bye